Hi everyone, this is Usman. Welcome to another exciting tutorial. Today we are going to see how we can create PDF free without any cost. There are a couple of libraries available on GitHub on internet but most of them are now paid. I got one which is free and open source. So let's get started. First of all, you need to go to NuGet Package Manager and you need to find PDF PIG. You can now install that PDF PIG package which is open source and free. Although it's not very extensive or not very advanced but we can generate PDF, we can read PDFs, we can add images. Let's see how we can do that. Okay, let's try to first of all add a method like PDF and we want to use that method inside our main method like this. And let's try to add some logic. I already have added that package in my console application. So now we can utilize that one. I added some space and now I have started with my PDF document builder. So we need that, that builder to build our PDF. Next thing is we want to add a standard font for all of my pages. So I have choose that Times Roman for font and I want to now add pages to that PDF. First of all, I will start a page where I will put my text and page size I choose A4. There are a couple of page sizes you can find in the list. And now let me try to add a text. So let's say I want to add hello world. Font size I want to give that, that text is 12 and I want that text to be put on to the 5 pixels on x axis and 3 830 pixels on y axis. So that will be around some somewhere around that top corner. Uh, x axis started from the from uh, both axis started from the bottom. So the bottom left corner will be 0, 0 and the top corner will be 0 and around 852 pixels. So I want to put some text at the very top of that page and next thing would be I want to build that document and it will return me the bytes and now I just want to generate that PDF file with that single page. So let me run this program and see my document. I just run the application and if I show you the result you can see we have that hello world printed at very top so this is a single page you can verify that so this is how we can add a page and text inside that page so what if i want to add some image so for that one i would like to add another page so i call that page page 2 and again the standard a4 size i want to use for that page and inside page 2 i want to add a png so there are a couple of options as well if you just type add you can see you can add image directly without specifying the extension when jpeg, png and add text we already have used that. So I want to add a uh, add png here and first argument will be the bytes of that png image. So I already have that apple you can see in the uh, in the on the screen I have used that free image uh, from crazyla.com and it's free for commercial use uh, so I am using that one and the next thing is where I want to put that image on that page so that would be 10 pixel x axis 10 starting point of y axis and the uh, 300 x2 and 500 y2 so let's build that application and see uh, how our image is placed. So now that was the first page and now we have the second page. You can see the image is uh, at very bottom of that page at the moment. So what if we try to uh, increase that y2? Let's say I want that y2 to be on 200 and uh, y1 to be 200 and y2 on around 700. If I rerun this application and refresh my browser window, you can see now the apple is little bit moved upwards. So now you can 
this way you can adjust this image on that page uh, we are using. So this is how we can create PDFs using PDF PIG package and this this is one writing PDF is the one of those that feature coming from that library. We can also read that PDF or any PDF. We can extract text from that PDF. So for that one I will create a separate video. I am going to push that code on same tech and talk underscore C sharp repository. You can get it and reuse that code. If I show you the Solution Explorer, so you can find all those libraries, demos under libraries folder. So you can find it from there. So that was all for this video. Uh, I hope that will be very useful for your projects. You can now generate or read PDFs into your .NET applications freely without any cost and for further videos keep watching and do subscribe my channel and in case of any question or query do ask in the comments and keep coding.